Well, uh, one one draw we're coming through us at home today, um, Sean. I imagine uh, you'll have the same feeling as you had um, after the Connors Key match. Yeah, um, a little bit. We, we certainly saw a lot more of the ball today, Paul. I um, thought we knocked it about really well, considering you know the pitch is absolutely beautiful, but when the sun's beating down, you know it's bone dry. But I, th I thought we knocked it about with zip. We nearly got in uh, with Jamie Breeze with an under-hit pass in the first half. So we looked to counter on that. I, th I thought we looked really good. Um, scored from a set piece, which is pleasing, uh, you know, because we have put a, a, quite a bit more emphasis on them this year. Um, created one or two good opportunities. I thought Sam Jones uh, performed really well. Um, you know, on the left side, it's maybe a little bit out of position for him, but looked tricky. Um, you know, I felt as though uh, Druids were paying quite a bit of attention to him because he was creating down that side. Um, nice to have Gazevo back in, Darren, you know, Jamie Breeze leading the line, but yeah, you know, unfortunately it wasn't to be. Second half, um, you know, after their goal, we were disappointed with their goal because I think it could have been stopped at source. We've given it away sloppily, uh, given away a free kick, which is okay. Uh, we set back up, uh, but we switched off and we said about Ryan Kershaw shooting from distance. So that was another frustrating thing, really, uh, because we said we spoke about that at the start of the game and the ball's moved. I think Rambo's a little bit unsighted, but that's probably their only shot like in the second half. We we were camped in, we were camped in their half. Um, you know, maybe susceptible to the counter attack, which I kept on telling Mike and, and Rye and Joe. Um, but I'm, I'm pleased with the level of performance. Um, on another day, Darren Shantz probably goes in, you know, that little jinking run that he went on. Uh, but sadly, no, it's we, we probably see it as two points lost, maybe, instead of a point gained. Um, you know, it's, I don't want to be dis disrespectful to any other side, you know, because um, everybody's got their own um, sort of patterns of play, etc. Um, I was just wondering, you know, um, during the match today, we played some great stuff, some uh, good footballing stuff. Um, you must be pleased with the way we play, though. You know, it's we do have a lot of footballers in the side, don't we? Definitely, yeah. Um, you know, I, I think with Mike Pearson coming in as well, Mike gives us something different where Mike will step in with the ball as well. So, um, you know, it, it creates a problem for, for the opposition then. You know, do they stick or, or do they try and engage? And, you know, if they close down, Mike, it allows our fullbacks like to get out. And, you know, Noah's done a really good job. Um, Noah's done a really good job like left side. Um, you know, he must be doing well to keep Nath out the side, like, to be honest, but uh, he's done really well, you know, with Sam in front, with, with Danny Brookwell coming back to full fitness near enough. Um, you know, the likes of Leo Smith, Darren Thomas, Gaz Evans, who can make things happen, you know, off the cuff. Uh, it's very, very pleasing. Um, and, you know, like you said, we, we knocked it about really well today. Um, it be interesting to see the stats, like, on the possession, because, don't know, in, in, <laughs> against the likes of maybe TNS and Connors Key, you don't see a lot of the ball, so it is nice to see quite a lot of the ball. Um, but you know you can, you can keep possession all day. The idea is to, to, to put the ball in the net, and sadly we, we're falling short. We're not remarkably short at the minute. Um, we are creating some good opportunities, and they will go in. Um, you know I can guarantee that because we'll keep creating chances, um, and goals change games as well. You know it might just bring a little bit of weight off the shoulders of of a few of the players. Uh, you know like I said right at the start, we just had to be careful with the counter attack because James Davis and I think Charlie Edge on the other side. They possess quite a lot of pace in behind the forward today. Work, you know, worked his socks off as well. Uh, you know, quite an unorthodox forward to play against. But you know, I was impressed with his work rate. Um, and like you said, Paul, you know, I, I am pleased. Um, but yeah, it's you know, it, it's just one of them goes in. I would have take, taken a, an ugly sort of like two one, um, two one win. You know, we were knocking on the door, but you know, fair play to Druids. They stood firm, and their door didn't fall down. Unfortunately today. Looking at the whole picture, um, we spoke off camera. Um, about the, the, the squad um, and you must also be pleased by the quality um, that we have you know um, on the bench as well um, people yeah. to come off the bench yeah, definitely yeah because um, you know Cav uh, to be fair for any young young listeners watching watching the interview um, if young players or, or young fans were to watch us and Cav wasn't to get on if he was to get 15 20 minutes here and there I'd advise him to watch him at the end of the game because you know the the attitude and application that he shows uh, is different class and that will be rewarded. Cav will remain patient. You get the same every week off him. Uh, you know he works hard, works tirelessly. But then you've got Nathan Craig, Danny Brookwell, you know Kai Jones, all to come on. Um, you know Gaz Edwards away. Um, you know Griffin available like today. But you look at you know what's on the pitch like as well and. It was a vital thing. It was a vital thing that we needed to address this year, Paul. We we, we couldn't stand still, uh, you know, in the transfer market. We needed to make sure that, 
you know, we, we were uh, nice and lively and we brought good quality in, but not just good quality footballers. You know, footballers, I feel, that fit the mould of Carnarvon Town. I think the new signings have done that. I thought Mike was another accomplished performance today. I thought Sam caused a lot of problems, like I've said. Griff, unfortunately, that was unavailable, but he was excellent against CNS. Uh, and, you know, like I said there about Sean Kavanagh and, and, and Kalion, it keeps our lads that were maybe playing last year on their toes. Um, and yeah, you know, there's competition for places and that's what I want. We've gained day three over and done with now, done and dusted. Uh, and we all look forward now to Airbus next week on Friday night. I saw an um, game Airbus and this one. Um, built in this school, can uh, What, Beth? Beth, uh, the, uh, do we medal? I'm uh, Airbus. Yeah. Um, mine, uh, Beck in, uh, Beck in Newith, uh, you know, on a gun arrive. Um, you know, Val, Val ourselves, like, uh, you know, um, uh, Bloydin, uh, uh, Duetha, that's it. Um, but, uh, team Da, um, uh, Team and, uh, and Gala Bell, uh, you know, Ara Laur, um, similar to us, uh, Lotto, uh, Juare, uh, Juare with that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we, I'll flip it now, I'll flip it now to Wayne. Okay, flip it over. <laughs> we'll, um, no, we, we'll, we'll expect a tough test, you know, against them. Uh, they've had a tough run of results, but from what I gather, I think the performances have been there. Um, they had a good second half against Bala, but we've all seen what Bala have done, you know, first couple of games. I'm not sure on that result today, but they had a, um, a good second half up there. Uh, they were maybe a little bit disappointed um, the way they performed against Druids, but uh, you know, to lose narrowly down at Cardiff Met today, there's no, um, you know, there's no, there's no mean feat, um, and you know that they're at home under the lights again. Um, so they're going to be buzzing. Uh, I think they'll be maybe a little bit, a bit, not necessarily retribution or revenge, but you know, the year that we went up and Airbus finished second, there might still still be a little bit of that lingering. But yeah, looking forward to uh, you know seeing a lot of a uh, lot of familiar faces up there next Friday. Uh, you know, lovely setup, good bar for the supporters as well. Uh, and obviously the, the Scorio cameras there as well. So yeah, it promises to be a good occasion. Uh, we're going to dissect this game today, uh, go through a couple of things on Wednesday, uh, work hard, um, and yeah, we'll, we'll go to Airbus uh, in good spirits. Great, Dim problem, Dirk Paul, nice one.